Welcome to the Stray Red Card. Uh, today, Brett and I, we're going to take on the massively, um, well, exciting in some ways, certainly, uh, game versus Italy, where the United States um, uh, squeaked out that 1-0 win. Looked kind of precarious there for a while at the end. Yeah. But uh, we did manage to pull it off. But I did think, Brett, just kind of um, some of the commentary that happened after the game was really kind of interesting. And I want to point out Alexi Lawless's comments in particular. Some people didn't like his comments. Other people <laughs> did. Um, but, you know, what Alexi said basically after the game is we are who we are and that maybe from this game, uh, Jurgen Klinsmann has learned that he needs to be a little bit more pragmatic, that, you know, you can't change who we are overnight. We're not going to turn into, you know, Barcelona or Spain or, or, you know, whatever, you know, fashion of play you want to describe it as you know more mexican style um it's not going to happen overnight and perhaps in a lot of cases the style of play we played last game is the best style it is a very counter-attacking style but it's mostly based on making sure the back four are solid and the two in front of them uh, that it being that game adu and bradley are just uh, ferociously cutting off all the angles and filling in the channels and that's what we did almost mm -hmm. the whole game and I wondered, uh, I, I mean, I kind of, of course, I agree with Alexi, because I've been saying this for some mm -hmm. time, yeah. <laughs> but uh, um, I don't know. What did you think about it? Well, you know, I said it from the beginning, you know, I think under Clemson's tenure, I think we're not going to see the team that he wants, and we're not going to see the team that we were. We're going to see a hybrid of the team. And I think that's really what we saw uh, against Italy, because we weren't necessarily the same type of team that we saw under Bradley. But then again, we weren't the team that's been praised, uh, this, that's been hyped up that this is what we're going to play. You know, we stay, like, basically we saw a merge of the two. I mean, there are a lot of people out there that are saying, you know, how about those anti cleansman people? Why don't they start eating crow now? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but you know what? Yeah. This is exactly what the rest of the ones of us have been critical on Klinsman. You know, we gave him his props where, you know, solidifying the defense, mm -hmm. adding that pure defensive mid, you know, yeah. stuff that we needed to stop leaking in goals. Now we need to start working on the attack. You know, we need to start actually scoring more than one goal a game mm. um, outside of the Slovenia game, of course. Mm -hmm. But um, we, those of us who have been uh, critical have been pointing out that, you know what, we can't change overnight. It's impossible. We're not going to be this possession-based team this cycle. I guarantee you. We're not, you know, not going to turn to Mexico by the time Brazil comes around. No, no. You know? that's it's not, not going to happen. No. So there's no crow that needs to be eaten. No, uh, not you know, at all. We, this is what we've been saying is going to happen. Like mm -hmm. I, like you and I both said, you know, basically we're going to look at it. It's going to be a mesh of the two uh, two teams, old world and new world. Yeah, and you know the interesting thing about it is even though Bradley lists his team as a four two three one, in a lot of ways it Klinsman, does. Not Bradley. Uh, oh, Klinsman lists this as a four two yeah. three one. It it really isn't a whole lot different looking than Bradley's 4-4-2, um, except for maybe Dempsey <clears throat> playing the second striker role or the CAM role. He does come back and help out exactly. on defense yeah, that's, a that's bit more. That's the big difference right there. It yeah. really was, it was basically the same formation that we saw, except for that uh, Dempsey came back and checked back a little bit. Right. And offer that outlet. He tried to get in Pirlo's way, but... Who could get in Pirlo's way? No one, really. But, no, you know, really. I'm, maybe I'm a little Moisean about this, and that's um, props to David Moyes uh, of Everton. And I really don't mind winning games against really good teams one nothing. And maybe that's a little old school. But, you know, it was really funny on PT. No, no, it was Around the Horn, um, ah. which I watched. Woody Page <clears throat> actually said, <laughs> you know what? He and Woody is by no means a huge soccer guy, as we I'm all know. He's, he's got to be my favorite character on that show. He's a great he's really character, nice. but great you know show. you got to give props to Tony Reale as well. He always makes sure soccer gets in that show as well as and he he does a lot of the writing for that show and a lot of writing as well for uh, PTI. Um, but he, you know he brought up you know the U.S. victory against Italy and and Woody Page said, "Hey, we we beat Italy at their own game because and that was a really good point because that's how Italy used to win." Remember, I mean, for years, for decades, that's how they won: two to one, one nothing, <laughs> you know, uh, zero zero, and win in in you know penalty kicks, or sometimes lose as they did uh, infam infamously a few times. But the thing is, they always had an incredible defense, and not that our our defense was 
awesome or anything like that. I mean, there were there were leaks on the left um, with both Shea and then later really badly with Kleschen as well, uh, as far as the midfield goes. But Specter and um, and Johnson were fantastic. So, but I guess my point is that um, you know I don't mind number one winning this way one nothing. And you're right. This this was th- there was a lot of Bob Bradley out there last night. It 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 looked a lot like an old Bob Bradley sort of setup, and 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 the way everybody was very disciplined, uh, and you know, and and and, and all clinsman has been talking about before this. Prior to this was I want my players to feel free and not worry about their position. Well, they didn't last yesterday. Yesterday they were disciplined, but mm-hmm. you still had the clinsman stamps. You had, because yep. you know you had Williams, you had Johnson, you had Shea, and all those guys been playing a whole lot more or. They've been playing, I should say, um, since Bradley left. Not to say Bradley wouldn't have found him as well. No. He would have found him, too. Well, you know, it's funny that you bring up uh, Woody's comment as far as we beat them at their own game. You know, I've said over a number of years when people say, like, oh, U.S. Is, US style is basically English style. You know, we're basically the uh, English yeah. wannabes. And I've always said that we've, we've resembled a poor man's Italian team more than anything. I'd have to agree with you. We. We're, we're, we uh, focus more on uh, not really bunkering down, but getting all the, getting players behind the ball, trying to work on that defense, and then spring that quick counter to catch the other team uh, attacking. Yeah. And, I mean, it's it's a very Italian uh, type of play. And in all honesty, the only difference really is that our defense hasn't quite been up to par. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. But, but, you know, and we saw it, today, we saw it against Italy. It was basically uh, – we're it was basically the same team out there, and it kind of frustrated the Italians to an extent. It did, and and you, did. and you know the real one of my big keys for that game, which I thought stood out to me, with Dempsey not playing on the wing, which is what uh, I should. By the way, I'm I, I'm going to give myself some props because both the dog <laughs> and I called the uh, the exact. We nailed the lineups. Come on, we should get some props for that. I mean, that's yeah. not easy to do in this day and age with Klinsman. You never know what he's going to do, but he just had a feeling based on uh, his visit to Hoffenheim, watching Johnson play left back, you know, and then we, we knew he already tried Williams out on the right, that that might just happen again, uh, based on the limited, uh, um, you know, possibilities. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, uh, the great thing was that during this game yesterday, the wings were so disciplined. Shea um, did not do a lot of cutting inside he kept they kept the field spread wide now Williams came in a little bit more to help on defense but even on offense I mean he those guys were hugging those lines oh yeah there were just a few times where (laughs) you couldn't get Williams off the line I know that was kind of a problem (laughs) with him I mean there were some chance uh, opportunities when when Dolo would would sprint down the right and he'd miss the pass to Dolo when then we have an opportunity to even get it wider Uh, but other times Williams just tried to dribble the ball up the wing all by himself solo and he'd go out of bounds or he'd lose it mm-hmm. um, and that was his real big negative for the game but boy did we keep when we had the possession of the ball we we really spread the field and mm-hmm. uh and uh you know not only that was bradley not the absolute freaking rock yesterday oh uh, man he god was, he was he great was clinical clinical he was i mean the only thing he made one uh, mistake on a pass. I don't. I think he's only complete. Didn't complete one pass, and that was about a forty-yard plus uh, through. I guess you could say through, but a forty-yard pass to uh, Josie that just didn't quite uh, clear the defender. Yeah. Uh, but it, it was spot on as far as accuracy is concerned. I mean, uh, Bradley's passing has improved over the years, especially these past couple years. Uh, it's definitely improved drastically. But oh. his time, his time in uh, Serie A is certainly uh matured him as a player and cleansman said that after the game too i mean he came out and he said listen his time in italy has markedly um improved his game i mean he was like mr cool out there i mean you might want to call him mr clean because he's bald but <laughs> mr cool um well, and, and the, yeah yeah the italians like to call him the general Do general they? bradley general bradley that's not too bad and 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 you know while a do wasn't as cool and calm and made various passing errors throughout the game he and bradley together it was almost like they had a pact you know like hey we're gonna show klinsman today that we're the two guys that should be playing in this middle position 
and we're going to show them we can do this together and we we know each other so well and they really did they you know yeah. when one went up one went back when one went back one went up i mean it was just they just constantly were, were covering channels and covering the angles and boy did it do make some great uh defensive stops oh, yeah. yesterday yeah. as well um, oh he, no no that's the one thing i noticed on the pairing especially early on in the match is like is when bradley would move up you notice a dude would look over, notice him moving up, and he would cut back. Yeah, and it was it was just great to see that they were, they were on the same page. Yeah, and uh, while while I certainly trust uh, Bradley on the ball more than I do, I do. Um, yeah, I, I I felt confident with him back there, and as you said, he made some amazing uh, defensive plays. Yeah. So I I, I think uh, you know I've been I've been a little down on on him uh, recently. Yep. Uh, but I thought that he had a great game. Yeah. But he really hasn't had a chance to pair with somebody like Bradley for a while, except for very briefly. And then last time Bradley was out, he played wing, right? So, I mean, haven't really had this pairing in the middle. I think Bradley made the case that I that he's definitely one of the guys in the middle. Oh, and, yeah. and maybe the other guy competing with Adu for the other slot still, based on Adu's play, which wasn't perfect but still defensively aggressive, is Jones when Jones gets healthy. And then we still... Have to talk about Stuart Holden when he gets healthy. I mean, you know, we're 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 flood we're flooded there. It's nice well, to be able to say yeah. that. We'll we'll hold out, we'll hold it out on a we'll see what happens with Holden. You know, he's not scheduled to come back until the beginning of next season. Yeah. Um. I you know I would really like to see Williams try it out at D mid. I mean, he's playing there for Hoffenheim. I want to get him off the wing. You can look at his style. It's not really set up to play the wing. Uh, he made some stupid decisions out there. Yes. Yeah. But I think, uh, as far as defensively goes, I thought he played it pretty well. I thought he did pretty well out there, uh, just covering back and playing more defensively. I think that right side was pretty much shut down. For, uh, our right side was pretty much shut down the entire game. He was great defensively, but you're right. I mean, he was really lost, headed up, yeah. headed up the field, and he held on to the ball way too long. Oh, yeah. um, but you know what? Williams is talented enough, and he has enough, uh, you know, chutzpah that I think with some discipline. I think he could play on the right. I don't think Williams wants to get involved in a Bradley, a Do, no, Jones, <laughs> Holden, you know, Beckerman battle for the CM spot. I think we've got an. That's our problem. I mean, really, Kleshin should be playing a CM spot. Williams should be playing a CM spot. I mean, we've got to Johnson. You know, obviously not. He's a guy who can play out in the wings. But the point is. It, we're crammed there. We got yeah. too many players who can play CM right now. Well, that that, that was Klinsman's reason for not really including a uh, question, was because you know he's got to compete with Bradley, Adu, Jones, you know, and the list continues. Yeah. Um, you know, another another option. He's actually uh, Williams has actually played center back for Hoffenheim a couple times. Yeah, that was kind of desperation, you know, given, but given our given our depth uh, at center back. Um, he might not be an op- he might not be a bad option to try out in a friendly. I wouldn't necess- obviously wouldn't try it out in a meaningful game, mm-hmm. but I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind giving him a chance. But then I mean, it- you, you know you know the defensiveness that his defensive ability is there. But, but- and he can, I, I I just think it'd be worth a try. Maybe, but before I try him, you know who I want to give a try because we saw Goodson yesterday. Right. I thought Goodson was very good. I thought Bocanegra was fabulous. I think Cameron. Gooch is hurt. Cameron Cameron Whitbread. Zach Whitbread has been playing yeah, I want to see phenomenal. Him too. I agree. I think right there, that's four guys already. How many more guys do you need back there? I think, you know, what we were really looking for, because I'm always worried about the left back spot, we found out last yesterday that Johnson can play that that spot. Well, so. I think Hoffman has found out uh, found that out for us. Yeah. Well, they, out there. yeah I, I think uh, yeah. Uh, I think Klinsman's, uh scouting really uh paid off there. No, no, the big the big question is well, you know what? With uh, with Dolo on such positive form, and you know, I've got I've got to give Dolo props because you know I was kind of down on I wasn't down on him. I, I just said that there's a possibility of replacing him with Chandler and having putting him on the bench. Mm-hmm. But Dolo had a great game. Yeah. Um, Johnson had a great game at left back, and he's left footed. Well, what do we do with Chandler? Do mm-hmm. we put him up at right mid, or yeah. uh, do we put Ch- or do we put Johnson back up at left mid and put Chandler at left back? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of <laughs> options going forward, and Klinsman, this is a good problem that, for Klinsman to have. It We're is. To play our best players. It, and then, oh, by the way, Dolo called me, and he, he told me to t- say, in your face, Brett. In your face. <laughs> <laughs> he said, no, you know, tell Brett you know, to suck it. <laughs> you dedicated that game to me, didn't you know that? <laughs>